have a registered nurse and a physician here in Peru. And when you're on the road, you have to pack lightly, don't you? We have this fantastic little portable ECG. I've tried this at home and we're trying that here. It's really cool. It has an app that goes with it. You can download your 30 second ECG and look at all the possible nice. changes or things that your heart might be going through. So here is a real life demonstration. Interesting. What are your first impressions? We're just springing this on him Not right bad. now. Yeah, yes, I've had this in my hands for 10 seconds here. It looks pretty steady, pretty easy to read. Small little screen here. 30 second run it looks like. No abnormalities. And oh, oh we're gonna go again here because that's fun. So I'm moving probably way too much. And then I'm gonna connect to it with the app and we can take a look at it uh, on the strip. Oh, Bluetooth disconnected. Oh, oh, probably because okay. we're off the grid in the middle of Peru mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Interesting. Wait, now, now when would this work and when would this not work? So this is not a 12 lead EKG. This is looking at your heart electricity from one angle, basically. When you get a 12 lead at the doctor's or the hospital, you're looking at your heart from all different angles. So this is not going to be purely diagnostic. If you're having a heart attack or you're having chest pain or you think you might be having a heart attack, you don't want to just go off of something portable like this. You still want to get professional opinion. Where this is the best <clears throat> is if you are feeling weird and you feel like you're having a flutter in your chest that's not going away and you can get a chance to drop it. No, nope. and get a chance to get a, uh, get a reading. Uh, oh, it's downloading right now, oh, so I it's, see. it's almost done. Oh, interesting. So it downloads and syncs straight to your app, and then you can you can pretty much send these results yeah, you to your cardiologist, it. couldn't mm -hmm. you? Great. So we can look at the one that he just took. You can oh. change the gain, which is the size, nice. and you can also change the speed, so you can look at it nice. more easily. Beautiful. So. Do, you know, do you know what this, this says right here? So what this is saying right here is that my heartbeat in the moment is beating nice and steady. I'm not having anything like atrial fibrillation or early heartbeats or late heartbeats. Uh, as Liz very accurately described, it's only looking at my heart from one angle electrically. And so it can't tell you if there's a heart attack present or not uh, with any certainty essentially, because we look for a lot of patterns in that situation. And so now the downside with some of these devices is sometimes if you move a little too much, you can get some what we call artifact, some incorrect data. That almost looks like an irregular heartbeat, but uh, to the trained eye, you realize, no, that's a regular heartbeat just with a little artifact in there. So uh, it's reading it correctly, no abnormalities up here, uh, nice and steady. And so, uh, but I moved while I was talking to you. So you could see one of those heartbeats dropped down a little bit on that artifact right there, that little spike dropped down. Fascinating. And the last question that I have for us uh, normal consumers out in the world, how does this compare to your other Cardia type device where you put your two fingers on there? I found this one to be much easier to use. I've actually been using it at night because I was feeling a lot of irregular beats and you can kind of see that I was able to capture them easily at home. This is not artifact. This is called a PVC, which is when your ventricle, the lower part of your heart, beats too early. So you can see going along, dut, 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 early beat. Whoa. Dut, 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 early beat. You actually have. Dut, 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 and then it keeps You've going. captured that. So that, those are real. That's amazing. And you can see it actually diagnosed accidental VBP, PB. What? That's incredible. Yeah. That's a great little device. Okay. Yeah, nice. Well, thank you for your humble opinions. <laughs>